All right. How about them balls? What a great game. Unbelievable. And y'all took up, y'all took on us after. So I'm so glad for you guys, and you have every reason to be happy. And it's, you know, it's nothing like it. And now you'll know. Hey, folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. Thank you so much, and enjoy the show. Six A boys soccer final. San Antonio Lee trying to end a long championship drought, taking on Rockwell Heath. Heath did not win any of their last seven regular season matches, but survived PKs twice to reach the final and had a chance to become the first team in UIL championship history to not win any of their last seven games or matches and win a state championship. Lee, meanwhile, in the gold medal match for the second straight year. Joy Petroni playing in his 19th and final knockout round match before he heads to Coastal Carolina, he has never allowed a goal in the finals. 34 years ago in 1987, Mark Bolin won a title at San Antonio Alamo Heights. His son Henry, the captain, had a chance to make it a father-son title on his birthday, no less. It's been a while since the Volunteers have won a team title in any sport. Nearly 50 years have passed since Tommy Kramer led the Vols to the 1971 Football State Championship over Wichita Falls before he had a long career with the Minnesota Vikings. 49 years and four months to be exact. More than 18 thousand days have passed since 1.5 billion seconds good luck counting that before lee took the pitch kramer said this to his alma mater i'm expecting you guys to take it out there tom we had that state had the cowboy stadium in 1971 we ended up winning the state championship that game against one stop we stop out and so we're hoping you the next greatest team from robert lee to ever come out of high school. In that 1971 season, Kramer's team beat Jerry Comalander's Churchill Charter squad on their way to the title. The retired AD made the trip up to watch the match. Could Lee end a half century title drought? It was such a big match, the band, the spirit squad, and the cattle came out to watch to find out what happened. <laughs> I saw space in behind. I saw I saw Julian pick up his pick up his head. And I, I knew there was no defenders, so I made that run and just cool, calm and compose on the ball to finish the goal. We played a little nervous the first 10 minutes, so always getting that goal settled us down. It makes them start to panic, and it, it just makes us confident that we can finish the game out. It gave us cushion, a lot of insurance. It gave us to go and play the rest of the game. Teammates on my back. I mean, you miss a VK, you gotta, you gotta keep going. You can't, you can't think about it too much. You just gotta keep playing and just hope your teammates have your back and keep working hard. When he missed that PK, it still, we still had that cushion of 1-0 lead, and I wasn't worried one bit. And the 
say if I turn your toe on. I told Henry, go take it because I'm going to score right now. And I just put it back of the net. I just saw the back of the net like wide open and just bury it like Coach said. I have no words because he's amazing. We've been here before, so I have a lot of experience when it comes to the state tournament, but not winning. And this time we won, and it was a great feeling. Just like in 2019, Lee missed a PK in the final, but this time they didn't need it. Joey Petroni wasn't around for the end of the match as he was red carded in the 74th minute, but it was too late for the Hawks. It's been 18,019 days since Lee's last team state championship. The streak would not see an 18,020th day. Lee wins 2-0 their fourth team state championship, but their first in soccer. We won state! Mark Boland's son Henry had the game-winning goal, and he was named the MVP on his birthday. Amazing, it comes full circle. I think uh, this one means a lot more, I think, to, to me at least, because it's been 50 years since Lee's won anything, and there's been so many good teams that we had to play this year. I think it might have been one of the hardest state championships to win. My teammates backed me up, and I backed up my teammates, and as one, we were unstoppable. And I'm proud of this team, and I'm proud of Lee, and I'm, I'm glad that we won this year. Felt extremely well to get, get down here and represent San Antonio and put the ball in the back of the net. Um, hey, you know, didn't score the PK, but put two in regulation. It's an amazing accomplishment, having the whole community, city, 
following us. It's just amazing and uh, it's all for them. 50 years is a very long time. It just feels so good to, to finally make history and take your revenge. I uh, feel like we finally deserve this after four years. It's right where we belong. Danny closes with the Red Auerbach Victory Cigar. The student section got to enjoy the trophy, and Tommy Kramer called the winning locker room. So glad for you guys, and you have every reason to be happy. And it's, you know, there's nothing like it that now you don't know. <laughs> Hearing from a former NFL QB is just amazing because you have a, like he was the last one to win this win state. And to hear from a professional athlete like him is just it is that much more motivation to go out there and, and get a title like him. I think it creates more opportunities for uh, future students, future players that are going to be in the athletic program at Lee. I mean, it shows anything's possible. And I'm proud of these boys and what we've accomplished. Reporting from a very, very happy Georgetown, I'm Greg Sherman.